The chief minister said Bland Group provides extensive services to the government, including security at number six and the frontier, as well as IT programs such as the employment department databases. A breakdown of payments made for the various services over the past year was provided as follows. IT, £110,000. Travel, just under £2,000. Security, £2.7 million. The National Security Central Intelligence System, £975,000. The hire of buses, £85,500. And airport handling services, £2.9 million. The total paid to Bland in the past year amounts to £6,942,000. Fabian Picardo said the bland OSG group contract covers a lot of security-related matter, such as the scanning of passports at entry points to the ANPR logging of number plates of vehicles crossing the border. However, he said some services were so sensitive he could not disclose those publicly. The monthly cost for this arrangement is £67,644. Answering opposition questions on 36 North, the chief minister confirmed that the company was paid £101,987 over the past three years. 36 North, whose shareholders include partners of Hassan's, is alleged to have been the intended beneficiary of Bland's security contract with the government. I preface my answer by saying that as, a, as my declaration of interest shows, I am a partner on sabbatical of Hassan's. The partners of Hassan's have a 33.33% interest in 36 North through a holding company called Astalon Limited. The sums paid to that company in the last two financial years is as follows. In the financial year 1819, a sum of £22,340.61, and in the joint financial year of 2019-20, which is a two-year period, £79,647.84. Last year, three men were charged with conspiracy to defraud Bland Limited and having undermined its ability to perform its NSCIS contract with the government. The Chief Minister outlined details of some of the payments made to 36 North, which include security for the Department of the Environment's office at Leance Place and consultancy on a cable to Morocco in respect of renewables. However, he clarified that he had no knowledge of these payments, which were within the limits of the relevant heads of department. Uh, was he aware that the government uh, was going to contract with 36 North before the contractual arrangements were entered into? The answer to that question, Mr. Speaker, is no. I have been made aware of these contracts in providing the answer uh, to the Honourable Gentleman in this House. Um, in fact, I've had the Honourable the Minister for the Environment um, advise me of the existence of this contract during the past 48 hours for the purposes of the compilation of the answer for the House. After six days and 407 questions, a few of which were withdrawn, this marathon session of Parliament adjourned sine die.